What if you could have an AI assistant qualifying motivated sellers for you 24 seven, handling the calls, asking the right questions and booking appointments so that you can focus on closing deals. In this training this afternoon, I went over how to create a voice AI agent inside of Go High Level to automate your seller lead qualification process. This means no more wasted time chasing unqualified leads, just pre-screened sellers ready to make a deal. So stay tuned. Hey, and if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe. My name is Stacia Kennedy and I help real estate investors, business owners automate their lead generation and follow-up systems using Go High Level. I've helped real estate professionals for the last 15 years and streamline their processes so they can now close more deals without getting buried in the manual tasks. So if you're looking to scale your real estate investing business and work smarter, not harder, then you're in the right place. Make sure to hit subscribe because I drop automation tips every week and there'll be lots, there's so much more that I want to drop here and you don't want to miss a thing because the way you do business is the way you do everything and you want to make sure that you're working smarter and not harder, right? All right, so let's dive in. In today's training, uh, I actually did it this afternoon here with a group of investors and real estate agents and I showed them exactly how to set up the voice AI agent and go high level that will ask the sellers the right qualifying questions to see if they're motivated to sell, gather key property details like the condition, timeline, and asking price. I went over a example and I showed them step-by-step -step how to put it together. It automatically will book an appointment for you if you set that up with promising leads after they qualify them and filter out the tire kickers so you don't waste time on those bad leads. So this setup is such a game changer for real estate investors and real estate listing agents as well. If you're going to be wanting to focus on that that genre or the that uh, type of, uh, of deals, especially if you're spending way too much time qualifying sellers manually. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have an AI agent handling seller calls, gathering the property details, booking appointments for you completely hands-free. All right. So I want to actually share with you this new voice AI and I'm actually behind it, actually, I think, but I'm like, oh, I need to get this because people have been asking me about it. If you go to the bottom of your sub account and click on settings and then click on voice agents, basically what we could do is create a, a agent or like a AI to answer your phone calls for you. So let me make a new one here. You're going to click on create agent and you can name the agent. So I think mine's just called like Mickey or you can give it like a name and then your company name over here and then the language that you speak, of course, and then the voice. They have all kinds of different voices that you can choose from. I need to pick one here. When we seek to discover the best in others, we somehow bring out the best in ourselves. That's cool. It has different voices, a guy's voice, male or, or different accents and things like that. It's like joyful, youthful. One may say the eternal mystery of the world is its comprehensibility. <laughs> All kinds of different ones. Where's the one that I had? Millennial. There is no failure except in no longer trying. Then, of course, you have your time zone. And so this is when people call you so it, right now it's only for incoming calls but like some coming soon it's grayed out right now but it says coming soon that they'll be able to have outbound calls too but for now like you set it up here and you go to the agent initial message and then you this is just the the initial message that they answer with you've reached you know got funnels how can i help you today and we're going to click next and then you're going to the goal like what information do you want to collect? Maybe it's just the name and the email. If it's for real estate, maybe you're going to want to ask for their address and maybe also find out what issue, the contact, what kind of problem they have. You could also connect this to a workflow. We'll do that later. And then connect the receive email notifications. I'm going to select myself, not all users, a specific user, select myself to get the notification and then we click on next and then if you don't have a high level number already 
you can get one and then connect it to it. Or if you want to get a separate number, I have a couple numbers and you can get a separate number so that maybe specifically whoever's dialing that number will get the, the AI will answer it. I'll do this one. I already did another test with the other agent. And then this is enable AI agent as a backup to the phone number. So you can have it if you don't answer, then it'll answer or, and also if you want it to maybe answer like after hours, this is, you can set the hours so that maybe you just have it answer at other hours that you don't answer the phone or something. So I'm going to click save. And then there's actually an advanced mode. I just set up the basic, but I'm going to go back and show you the other steps here. So when you click on this three dots, I'm going to go back in to edit it. But what you're going to do is in the, under the agent goals, this is just the basic stuff, but you're going to switch to advance. And this in here, the prompt is where you're going to actually want to customize how it answers the calls. So right now I just put basic stuff, but you can use chat GPT to get real specific of like how you want to like, how you want it to answer the phone, like how, how you want it, information that they want to do. And so actually I went to chat GPT. My other mentor actually used deep seek, <laughs> but I'm still not really sure about that one yet. I was going to try it, but I just did a, a real quick chat GPT. Hey, can you create a a voice agent prompt for real estate investors who want to qualify prospects for them to sell their home. And so it pulled together your role and it gives you exactly like how to train it. This is what I would copy here and paste it into the prompt here. So it knows how to qualify the prospect. Can you tell me more about your property? How many bedrooms, how many baths, things like that. So we're going to copy this information here. And then I would put it in here. And then when you call the number, it's just going to be able to qualify your leads. Pretty cool. Oh, I can't use the emojis. That's why. Let's see if I delete it. I had a feeling about that. Delete that. that works and see what the prompting guide I want to see their prompting guidelines too yeah basic role specific tasks cool and then let's save this I want to save viewer number. We're going to try a test. Oh, I have to put a one. Oops. Plus there too. I'm not following directions here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hear the phone. Hello. You call will be recorded for quality assurance. Hey, you have reached Scott Funnel. How can I help you today? Hey, I'm looking to sell my home. That's great to hear. Can you tell me a little about your property? How many bedrooms and bathrooms does it have? We have three bedroom, two baths. Thanks for sharing. Are there any major repairs or updates needed in your home? Yes, it's a total fixer. Got it, a total fixer upper. What's the main reason you're considering selling? I need to make some money. <laughs> okay. Are you looking to sell as soon as possible or do you have a specific timeline in mind? Maybe in three months. All right, three months gives us some time to work with. Are you the sole decision maker for this property? Yes, I'm the owner.
in mind that you'd like to get for the property? No, give me your best offer. I get that. Are you open to a past offer or other creative financing options? Yes. Great. Sounds like your property might be a good fit. Let me connect you with our investor. When would be a good time for a quick chat? Tomorrow. Perfect. I'll schedule a follow-up call with our investor for tomorrow. Is there a specific time that works best for you? In the morning. Morning it is. I'll arrange for the investor to reach out to you then. Thanks for your time and Thanks. have a great day. Thanks. Well, that was cool. So you can do something like that. And down here on the bottom, you can transfer the call or connect it to a workflow trigger. And now I think it's also what it's doing is loading our conversation and I'll be able to see the conversation in the contacts section. And I can, you can actually, and for you, um, Amy, if they also updated, if you got all your user agents set up, you can actually create a snapshot for them and sell it that way too. Now that you've seen how to create a voice AI agent that qualifies the sellers for you, Imagine what this could do for your business. I've put together a free training that shows you step-by-step -step the entire system of automating seller leads and follow-ups and using Go High Level, how you can get started today. All you have to do is grab it right now in the description below. Click that link, get your free trial. I actually have an extended free trial, 30-day trial in the link below. And if you want me to help you uh, set this up for your real estate investing business, let's get right to the point. You can book a call. You can book a strategy call with me below as well. There's a link there. And uh, again, drop a comment below. If you think how would AI voice agent would actually, if it would help you close more deals from the example I just shared. So of course, don't forget to like, and subscribe and hit that bell for the notification. So you never miss my next automation tutorial. We'll see you on the next one. Much love and aloha.